Hey everyone, my name is Justin, thanks for visiting my channel. In this video series, I want to highlight what I think are some of the most interesting new features and enhancements to ServiceNow in their latest release called San Diego coming this March of 2022. You already saw the thumbnail when you clicked on this video, so let's dive right into some San Diego goodness. Alright everyone, I'm making the prediction right here, right now, that the user experience, the new UI in San Diego, is going to be the most talked about feature or enhancement in the San Diego release. It's a big change. It's exciting. We've been looking for this to happen for a long time now. In this video, I'm going to cover the basics. We're not going to dive deep on anything, but I am going to show you if you're coming from a previous version of ServiceNow, in order to get the new experience, you do need to update a system property to true. And what we're looking for is a, a Polaris system property. There's a couple of them, but we're looking for this Glide UI Polaris experience. It's going to be set to false by default. Set that to true and you will have turned on the new user interface. I'm in San Diego in my personal developer instance and uh, it's a pre-release, so I'm fully anticipating there's gonna be additional features or stuff that may or may not be available when it's generally available. So look for more videos about the user experience. But for now, let's click the refresh button and let's see what that new user experience looks like. I'll warn you before it even comes up, over on the left hand side, you're going to notice the filter navigator. It's gone. It's no longer there by default. Now I'm looking at a list view and service now of all the things that or all the system properties I had filtered to. And my filter navigator, while it's gone, they've replaced it with something really helpful. Now I've got at the very top my all menu, all the applications I have access to. I'll just click on this real quick so you can see. Works just like before. I can come in and filter on it get to what I need to. I've got my favorites and you can set your favorites by going and clicking these stars on the on the very top where it's telling you where you are on the platform as well as on the actual all menu you can click those stars. You can still edit your favorites so that's still a capability if you want to go in there and change the look, the feel, the order, the color, stuff like that. History, this still works the same although I do like this new grouping so I've got this nice little banner for yesterday I can see what I did yesterday versus what I did on February 27th. And drum roll please, workspaces now coming into the main part of the user interface, no longer popping up a new window or a new tab. I will qualify that though, agent workspace isn't one of them. At least it's not one right now. Maybe they'll surprise us uh, in early March when it is generally available and agent workspace will be there. But what does a workspace look like? I'll open one up. We've got a new, again, look and feel for the workspaces. I've got a nicely colored left-hand menu. Um, I will comment on the colors overall. Your admin can go in, change the color theme. There's even dark mode support um, on, in, in the new user interface. But you can see what a workspace looks like now. Reports have changed a little bit, stuff like that. Um, I've got global search there at the top. I can still do my stuff there. If you're a sysadmin, your application and your update set pickers have moved to this little globe. So you can come in here, you can still update your application scope. You can uh, change your update set directly from there. There's help, there's notifications, and of course there's the old profile, log out, impersonate somebody, or set your preferences. Now here's another change I noticed. This is definitely trimmed down from what it used to be. I have some options around how the display is set up things that you expect to be there from before, some accessibility things, reduced motion that is new, there's some special keyboard shortcuts, um, some nice to have there. Notifications, you can still go in, configure the notifications like you always been able to. Workspaces, we got some preferences now around showing the sidebar or the ribbon. And then debugging if you're a sysadmin, you've got those features there. That's pretty much all that's changed there. What I wanna do next is hop to a list view. So I've got a list of incidents and uh, this looks and feels a little different. So as I move through the list and hover over fields, I've got a nice visual cue of where my mouse is. So I'm on a short description or I'm on the open date. You can still right click, do the things we all been able to do for years. I can still apply filters, show matching, filter out. And uh, let's just go ahead and do that. Let's filter out all this. Uh, we'll just show matching on IT Support Americas because I want to show you what the reporting looks like. I did notice some changes in there to reporting. Let's just go to software. I'm trying to get below uh, 12,000 records. Oh, by the way, right beside me down here, notice that uh, 
the page count or the record count is now in the bottom in the center. You can paginate through the list using this next page feature here. That used to be on the upper right. What's replaced it on the upper right is the upper right is this action menu. So if you go select a bunch of things, um, you used to go to the bottom left to do something. Now it's in the upper right. So this is what I was talking about earlier when things may have been here. Now they're over there. So it takes a little bit of adjustment, but it's not too bad. Now that I've got that, let's go ahead and hop into an actual report. And so you can see the reporting interface is still the same, still works, still lovely. It's one of my favorite features of ServiceNow. But what is different is uh, the icons or the, the styling on the actual reports themselves. So there's the pie chart. That's what it looks like. But if I hop over to different types, you can see how this has changed. Still got the same functionality, so nothing's going to break when you upgrade, hopefully. Um, but I've got a bit different of a look and feel, a more modern, if you will, look and feel. I'm going to come back out and I want to show you uh, changes. So if I'm going to go here to the change menu and the reason I want to show you changes is because I want you to see those chevrons that have always been at the top. I noticed when I was poking around that those have changed a little bit. So let's pull up this reboot of the application server for PeopleSoft and you'll see at the top the kind of the workflow visual the chevrons have changed a little bit. Um, here's an example of a form you can see as I hover over things they kind of light up. Um, I can tell where I am. So again, good visual cues of what's going on. I'll click through a couple of these so you can see them. And then down the bottom, I've got my different uh, related lists. So none of that's changed, all that's still there. Last thing I'll show you is the um, dashboarding features. I think I've got a dashboard favorited here. So if I hop into the ITIL dashboard, theme of the video here looks the same, or it has the same functionality, looks a little bit different. So I can still click through, go to my tasks. I can still edit my dashboards. Um, I can still add widgets to them. Everything works just the same, just a little bit cleaner of a look and feel. I'm gonna have more videos on additional UX changes uh, as we get to know the next experience, so stay tuned. This is just one of many San Diego highlight feature videos I'm gonna make, so if you liked it, please share it with a colleague. If you'd like to support me, please like, subscribe. If there's something you wanna see that I didn't show and you wanna get it on the list of things that we're gonna cover on this channel, drop me a note in the comment. I'll definitely check all those. And other than that, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for your time.